everyone on this video i will let you know how to make your own portable live cricket score monitoring device by just using your node mcu board and a lcd display so let's get started so for making this project you will need a node mcu board a female box strip a 1.8 inch color lcd display a lithium battery a tp4056 battery charging module and one on off switch i bought most of the components required for this project from lcsc.com i will attach the link of the products in the description of this video now the connections of all the components is something like this now to make this project more compact and handy i designed my own pcbs on easyidea.com and gave its order to glc pcb you just need to upload the gerber file and place your order you will be receiving the amazing pcbs at your doorstep so try out glc pcb once to make your projects more compact and well arranged now one by one i shouldered all the components on the pcb I use this female box strip so that I can easily remove it if I want to modify the code. After shouldering all the components, I stick the battery on the PCB using a double-sided tape. After all this, our project looks something like this. A compact IoT device. Now let's jump to the coding of this project. So this is the code used for this project. If you are using the same display which I am using then you need to download and install these two libraries whose link is attached in the description of this video. And further in this extronical library you need to modify one thing. Just go to documents, Arduino, libraries into extronical and open up this header file. Just change the resolution to 134 by 168 and save this file. That's it. Now go back to the code and here you need to add your SID name and password to make this project talk to internet. Then you need to add a single API link here. And to get that link, you need to follow these steps. First, for getting the live score, we need a website which gives the live score of the match. So I chose this news18.com website because this method works perfectly in this website. Now here, you need to go to the page where the live score of the match is displayed. But today, on 13th July, we don't have any live match, so we will go to the scoreboard of the previous match. So here it is. Now select the data which you want to fetch and then just right click and select inspect. Here, you need to note one thing which is, I have tested this method only with Google Chrome and Firefox. I'm not sure if this works with other browsers as well. Now, for this particular website, you need to search for the class scorecard main. Now, just right click here and go to copy and copy xpath. Great. Now, open a new tab and go to thingspick.com. Make an account here and log into that account. After that, go to apps, then into thing http. Select new thing http and paste that path here in the last block called path string. Now go back to the previous tab and copy the URL of the page where the live score was displayed and paste that URL into this URL block. That's it, just save it and your own API for live scoreboard is ready to use. Let's first test this link. Just copy it, open a new tab and paste this link here. As you can see, we got an HTML code in response in which we have our data embedded in the code itself. So we need to filter out the required data from this whole code. But not to worry, I have already written the Arduino code for filtering out the required data. So the last step of this project is you just need to paste that API link here in the code and just remove S from this HTTPS. That's it. Down below, I have written the code for filtering out the required data. So if you are following the same method and using the same display which I have shown in this video, then you don't need to make any changes further. And if you are using any other display, then I have saved each and every details of the match in a different string so that you can easily use that string and display that in any of the display which you are using.
Now just select the right board and port and just click on this upload button. Now let's remove the cable and power on this device using battery. As you can see, the data is displayed from the previous World Cup match which was the semi-finals between Australia and England. And in the second page, we are able to see the scores and wicket by each team. And on the third and the last page, we are able to see the status of the match. Amazing, isn't it? Hit a like button right now if you are already loving this project. So this was it about the portable live cricket score monitoring device. Do use this project today on 14th July for World Cup finale between England and New Zealand and watch that match like a legend. Make sure you comment down below about your reviews and feedbacks regarding this project which will motivate me to make more such innovative projects. Ending this video here, subscribe my channel to see more such amazing project tutorials. Other than projects, I also used to make some getting started videos on electronic components or products some explained videos on different technology or sensor and some short but useful tips and tricks. So just wait for my next video and then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.